Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Flavor and Fiction. For those of you tuning in for the first time, Flavor and Fiction is a segment where I read a book from my 2023 reading challenge, and then I give you a short review of the book, no spoilers, and I make a recipe using an ingredient mentioned in the book. So you get your flavor and your fiction. Before I go on, I just want to say I'm having a bit of a lighting issue. My ring light isn't working. Last episode, I had to film in my car. You know, you got to make do. But uh, this is getting annoying. But so if I if I look like I'm lit a little spooky, it's because I'm, I'm being lit by my computer right now. So sorry about that. So this time the category was a book from the perspective of a teenager. And I chose Darker Than Me by Two Tunics such a nice cover. If you can't see because the lighting's a little off today, I'll put a picture up here. And I chose this book by, I went into my Facebook groups that I'm in for writers and I asked them if any independent authors have a book out there that matched that category. And this was one of the responses. This is the one I chose because I really want to do more to support independent authors. So, there were a lot of foods mentioned in the book, but I chose to combine two. The first one was just desserts, which I was like, the possibilities are in this endless. And the second one was chocolate candy. So today we are going to be making chocolate chip cookie cheesecake bars, which actually just came out of the oven. They're cooling right now. And I'm going to do a little taste test as usual at the end of this video so you can see how it came out. But before we get to the recipe, let's get into the book. So our protagonist is a actually a preteen boy named Clay. He is, uh, his grandmother recently passed away and he's sort of being raised by his older brother. He has four older brothers. His mother is present, but not present, if you know what I mean. She's not really uh, in a state to raise kids. So she's there in the house, but she is not really a part of his growing up at all. The only uh, trusted adult in his life is Pastor D, uh, who comes by to check on the kids and like he'll buy them things every once in a while. And um, he's the only person that Clay, aside from his brothers, he's the only person that Clay really respects. So Clay is having a hard time in school. He's being made fun of all the time for wearing secondhand clothes and for having dark skin. And he keeps getting into fights. He thinks all his teachers hate him. Like it's just the world is coming down on him. And um, he, he's pretty much at his breaking point. So when his friends, uh, decide to start shoplifting, he gets in on it because at least now after the shoplifting, he has new clothes. He's getting used to the compliments. People are like, Oh, where'd you get those sneakers? Like everything that he wasn't experiencing before, you know, he's, he's getting now. So crime may not pay, but it was paying for Clay. His oldest brother, Kamis is really trying to keep him on the straight and narrow because Kamis himself used to get into some things like Clay. But he turned his life around. He's gave his life to God. He's really trying to steer his brother in the right direction. But his brother is not trying to hear that. He thinks nobody understands him. Nobody gets the, the hate that he's getting at school. Nobody understands his struggles. So he's not really listening. So eventually the shoplifting graduates into breaking into cars and stealing property, stealing money and stealing a gun at one point. Um, and so after a close call one night, they're, they're doing their usual car thievery and uh, they have a close call with getting caught and Clay decides like, okay, this has got to be it. You know, he's getting trouble at school. He's getting in trouble at school. He, um, he's getting lectures from Pastor D and from his brother and he's just, he's alienating all the people who really care about him and that's starting to make him feel worse. So he decides that the next run is gonna be his last. But of course, things don't always go as planned. Um, I'm not gonna give spoilers, but it ends up being a worse night than he could have imagined. And um, that's really like the crux of the book. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give that away. But let's talk about some themes of the book. So through Pastor D, one of the major themes ends up being Clay's relationship with God or lack of a relationship with God. And it's not super preachy in the way that most, you know, you would expect most books to be. And Clay, to me, it's realistic in, in the way that Clay thinks about himself, how he gets down on himself because of how other people around him talk, how he questions God, how he um, is angry with God or, you know, he's trying to 
decide what he believes in or um, how could there be a God if this and this happens? Like to me, those are realistic thoughts and questions that a boy his age and his position would have. So I really feel like the author did a good job with that. And it also touches on the subjects of friendships, true friendships and not so true friendships. Um, a lot of times when these like young boys try to make their friends their family, they get steered in the wrong direction. Sometimes it's hard to know who's really for you and who's not. And sometimes the people you think are your closest friends are not. I think this book would really speak to middle school, high school boys who feel similar to Clay, who are trying to find their place in the world, uh, figure out what their purpose is, um, or who are just going through a hard time in school. So I was really happy with my choice in this book. And the good news is that this is book one in a series. It's called the Pipeline series. And book two is already available on Amazon. Please support this independent author if possible. You can buy the book on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in my description below as usual, as well as a link to this recipe. So before I close out, I'm gonna show you the video of how I made the recipe. And then I'm gonna do a little taste test for you. First, you wanna take your favorite brand of chocolate chip cookie dough, and you wanna press about two thirds of it into the bottom of a tin. And then you take your Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever brand of cream cheese and you mix it up and then you add sugar and mix that up. Then you add vanilla extract and the egg and then you mix that up and then you pour the mixture onto the dough. You can see I went back and added some aluminum foil and then you take the rest of the cookie dough and you just crumble it on top. So it'll look something like this. It's simple. And then you put it in the oven at 350 for about half an hour and it comes out looking just like this, just like the picture perfection okay so it's still cooling down over there but i just got a little tiny piece i just cut a little corner and i'm gonna give you a little taste test here we go <laughs> that's so good <laughs> but how can you go wrong with chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies and cheesecake it's so good okay you're supposed to let it cool and then cut the bars but I don't think I can wait I'm gonna cut a little piece for me <laughs> before I head into work it's really good so if you recall not all of the recipes I make on here are winners <laughs> so I'm really glad that this simple recipe ended up being so good I'll definitely be making this again if you have to make dessert for like a crowd or something like that this is the way to go so thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to support the book on Amazon, link below. And I will see you next time. Happy reading and happy eating.